We got another slingshot student who just hit 500 feet. Today we're gonna to talk about why the off arm played a large role in that success story. Let's get into it. Uh-oh, flex. Jeez, oh wow. Did it go over? Yeah. <laughs> The sailboat is what most disc golfers do, at least in my experience, when you swing both arms and you look like that. The problem with this position is usually when I'm talking to people, they can't tell me why they did it. In my opinion, one of the most important things with backhand form is to have control over every part of your body and to be able to answer the question why with each thing that you do. Depending on how you approach throwing a disc, if you're throwing it with your arm, it doesn't really matter. But if you're using rotation, this rotational move is now being held back by this arm because if you're rotating, you wanna be explosive and quick. You wanna be efficient and compact. Just put your arm here and try to make that move. It immediately hits the wind like a sail and it holds you back. And people usually end up looking like this. Now in terms of the slingshot method, it's based on how Macbeth uses it. It's about coiling, uncoiling. I'm a huge fan of Eagle and Simon, so I'm always cool with you putting the left arm to the side, but I do not believe that is the best way to do it. I believe that's the best way to do it because it activates the back and it's the most compact and efficient for rotating, but that's up to you. But either way, this is not a very good position because it causes rounding, it makes you slower, it opens up your hips, it's a shoulder coil. There's just so many things about it that keep you from being quick and athletic. So what I want you to do is just keep the arm tucked in or tucked to the side and just keep it there the whole time. If you make an actual form change, which so many people fail to do, it's gonna feel really weird because that's what change is, it's uncomfortable. What will happen is you will naturally start using it to coil. Steven has a special place in my heart because we both play college basketball in Oregon. So that's his full extension. Obviously that's a sailboat and as we go through the rotation, just you can feel it holding him back from rotating. It even has kind of a weird up swoop on the follow through, but pretty self-explanatory sailboat. All right, now we're looking at 515. This is not a finished product yet. Like I said, he's a basketball player, so I'm gonna hold him to a, an extremely high standard. But man, he has done some uh, fantastic work. Great guy, never stops working. He just brings a lot of positivity, a lot of energy. At this point in time, he was keeping that off arm close and starting to use it a little bit in the right way. And he's just rotating way more efficiently. And when you watch it in fast motion, it just doesn't look like that off arm is flailing around, it's just way more compact. I think Steven has a really high ceiling. He's always working, he's just really consistent. This will not be the last time we hear from Steven because now we're on the journey to 550 because we don't stop until the athlete inside tells you there's nothing left. Now, the act of waving this arm this way has to do with your ability to delay this extension. So while we don't want it to look like that, we eventually want it to look like that. This movement right here is a very high level, it's a very high level degree of difficulty. Degree, it's a high degree, is a very high degree of difficulty. It's just best to start in that position and that's what we've done with Steven is helped him rotate so much faster and now he's finally hitting 500 feet. In case I don't see you, good afternoon, good evening, and slingshots for everybody.